All right, soccer fans, mark your calendars. There is now a way for you to become a partial owner of Minnesota's new pre-professional women's soccer team. Shares are being sold for the team. The announcement was made this morning. Leah Bino joining us now. And Leah, I understand the response has been impressive. Yeah. Yes, to say the least. So the shares actually go on sale Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. But since they made the announcement about this opportunity about seven hours ago, they already have about $100,000 in pledges. And the person, one of the co-founders, who came up with the idea for this sort of community investment, he also just put the finishing touches on another big addition to the local soccer scene. And I will be very mad if she doesn't show up and get a picture with it. Within one week, local artist Rock Martinez brought West Burdine's vision to life on what used to be a graffiti hotspot. Who better for uh, a, a queer soccer bar than the, the absolute icon of Megan Rapino, who's a big hero of mine and big hero of a lot of our patrons. While the mural outside the Black Heart of St. Paul is eye catching, as one of the co founders for Minnesota's new women's soccer team, Burdine is equally pumped about another vision for his favorite sport. Community members can buy into the state's pre pro team set to start playing in the spring. So everyone who are co founders are business people in the Twin Cities, um, but not a single one of us can write a giant check. President and co founder Andrea Yak says as part of the new USLW League, Minnesota is the first taking a sort of crowdsourcing approach. This is a chance for you to be a part of advancing women in business, advancing women in sports, and doing more than just feeling bad when you see that the women athletes aren't being treated the same. Now you can be a part of leveling the playing field. Various investment levels, starting at 100 bucks for four shares, will earn investors input on everything from the head coach to season tickets and more. The biggest thing it gets you is you will become a part of deciding what our name and our brand is going to look like. Back at Blackheart, fans stopping by from out of state hope the communal team effort, plus the new painting, add more inspiration for female athletes striving to reach the top of their game. Anything girls, I'm here for. <laughs> And eventually, two community investors will also have seats on the seven-person board. They'll get to get get to that after this process uh, goes on along a little bit more. If you would like to look into possibly purchasing the shares or pledges, we put the information on our website, fox9.com. Back to you. Mm. All right, thanks, Liam. What a brilliant idea! And hundred grand already. Th that's just right now in right. the first day of this announcement. So imagine, you know, next week what they're going to have. That'll great, be funded. yeah, great start. Quick.